everybody! We are here in Ogden to show you guys another hack. I'm Melissa. I'm Cove. And let's get started. Let's turn this around and show you guys what we have today. We've got the stingray up with the new forest rainforest green rain fly. So we've got multiple colors on this one. It's our newest rain fly. It is super cool. We've got it all pegged out. And we are going to be showing you guys how you can sleep six people, up to six people, underneath your, um, underneath your stingray. So if you guys have ever hammock camped before, you guys bought, purchased your amazing tensile, then you guys might have regular hammocks. And you can still use those with tensile, so we don't hate those. You can still use them for your friends and your gear and all that stuff. So we're going to show you how you can do that and um, using the double bubble as well, how you can cover them with the mesh. So here we are, again with that new rainforest green rain fly. If you guys have questions while we're doing this, feel free to ask. We'll answer anything about um, the product, what we're doing today, anything like that. We are also going to give you guys a discount, so we're going to do that. Um, same thing that we did last time, give you everyone 10% discount. I'll give you guys the code now, so if you want to go after the video, go purchase your stuff. Um, the discount is HURRY10, H-U-R-R-Y 10. Just 10, as in numerical 10. So, <laughs> Joe, zero. Kayla, thanks for watching. <laughs> okay, let's get started. So, again, we've got the Stingray, and so here's how you can attach some hammocks. So we've already laid out our hammock here and Cove's going to show you how it's done. Alright guys, so as you can see we have a ropes. You know, some hammocks come with already pre-made ropes. What we have here is just regular basic rope, knots tied in it. You want to do the same thing as you would your strap. You want to girth hitch it through the D-ring. Nowhere else on the tent but through the D-rings. You want to girth hitch it all the way through so take this end, put it through the loop, pull it tight. And you want to do the same you want to do the same on this end too. So on the D-ring, as you can see, we got both set up here. So pretty simple. Just take your hammock, find what knot works best for you height-wise. You're going to take the other end, pull it. Maybe we'll drop that end a little bit. So we're showing you how you can sleep six people total in the stingray outside the stingray so they're being covered by the rain fly so you've got a little bit of protection there and we've attached it here to the d-ring so just attach it right here and there you go you've got one person here we're going to add one more person on this side and you can sleep another one on this side as well so you can attach three more regular hammocks underneath your stingray Super simple, so. Now, super, yeah, like I said, super simple. You can see how we have the rain fly pegged out at a diagonal to give the people sleeping on the side a little more protection, a little more rain shed off of there. Yeah, and you've got this room down here as well, so you can, you've got this hangout location. You guys can all hang out underneath your tent. The rain flies covered for those three. We all have, you can have one more on this as well. Being that you are of course staying within the weight limit restriction so 880 pounds on the stingray but as long as you're doing that we've got Cove under here chilling so now we're gonna add the mesh so the bubble it's a newer product that we have um, it retails for 150 you can get 10% off with the code hurry 10 for watching this video so if you want to purchase one of those um, we'll show you how it attaches so we did one earlier we did a video earlier that showed how you add the layer of stingray to trillium with the double bubble in between. This is another way you can use the double bubble. If you don't have two layers, you've got the stingray like we have here, and you don't have a trillium, but you have hammocks and you've got people that are going to sleep underneath you, you can attach the double bubble. So we're going to show you how three people can be protected with the coverage of the fly as well as the mesh. So we're going to come over here, co attaching it here. It's very simple. You're just going to attach it over the top. Now, 
let it hang a little bit, then you can go back once you got all the walls done up and then adjust to it. So let's go over here now. You can take it. Yeah. Okay. So we're just gonna go underneath. We're going around the raised slice. So just grab these little ones right here. And we're gonna go right there. And then these wider ones go up and around here. And we can, like Cove said, go back and adjust it once we've got the idea. So we're going to go, oh, you're going to miss this guy, huh? <laughs> Got to get this guy in here. Yeah, make sure you get your ropes on the inside of the mesh. <laughs> <laughs> and make sure they're covered. Go around the hammock. Underneath your pegs. Get this guy on the inside. Gotta get him around. So again, we're showing how you can attach the double bubble to sleep people underneath here. If you guys have questions, feel free to ask. So the, again, this is just another way you can use the double bubble. So you don't need that second layer. You can just use it for underneath your stingray. Excellent. You can just... So... Let Melissa tie that last one off. And see? And then you can see in here that we are fully closed off. May have a little gap depending on how high you set it. How high you set it on. But once you weight this thing, it will settle down. Then you'll have less of a gap. So climb in here and show you how. So now I've got the protection of that rain fly out to here. Got the double bubble drop down below so you you minimize the, the bugs that'll come in and attack you during the night for your buddies down below that uh, aren't in the stingray. If you guys have questions? Um, we're happy to answer. We can um, also attach the double, the double bubble to a couple more locations here to get a little bit more sealed off. Yeah. So again, everyone who's watching, you guys can all purchase your double bubble stingray, whatever you guys are missing from your kit, using the code HURRY10, H-U-R-R-Y-10. Super simple. That'll be valid for 72 hours only, so go do it now. And it looks like B. Tim has a question for you. He says, what are the whole functions of the double bubble? So the double bubble is uh, our newest edition mesh accessory. So it's got, it's the same material that the that we use on all of the tents. Basically, you can attach it to two layers. So in a previous video, we showed how you attach it from stingray to a trillium. So you add that, the double bubble gets its name from adding that bubble of protection between the layers. So here we're showing a different function where if you don't have two layers, but you do want to keep some, minimize the bugs from coming in from underneath, you can, we showed how you can sleep a few more people in just regular hammocks below your stingray. So you can attach it below the stingray as well. So you're attaching it same way you would attach it from stingray to trillium. You're just going to have it free hanging down below here, but you're minimizing that, the bugs from, from entering the layer below. The top tent, which you can't see right now, is fully enclosed mesh. So that stingray up top that we've got set up is fully enclosed. So this, all these th this sleeps three people. So these three people are fully enclosed no matter what. But this double bubble adds that layer of protection for those. And then we got our tent up top here. So three people here, then maybe what, two people down lower. You could even hang a third off of that point to this point. So then you're essentially within the 880 pounds that this tent can hold, you're you sleeping. can sleep six, six people. 
Anybody have any more questions? And this also adds a nice little layer. So we, we've hung it up a little bit higher, but um, at your own risk, you can hang it a little bit higher and keep that um, little area for hanging out. It's like a living room when you're camping. Just a hangout zone. What else we got? So um, once again, we are giving 10% uh, away, 10% off. You can purchase your Stingray, Double Bubble, any accessories that you're missing um, on our website using code HURRY10. That'll be valid for 72 hours only, so go purchase your items now. How much does it weigh? The tent itself, ratchets, three straps, rain fly, and all the tent stingray weighs 22 pounds. The double bubble weighs a couple ounces. ounces. It's just meshed with yeah. a couple buckles. So Yeah, it's super light. And we have other ways that you can lighten up your stingray from web locks. That really helps out. So Yeah. Also, um, we have if you're looking for a lighter weight tent, we also have lighter weight options as well. So we have a, a two person flight which is our, our backpacking version, so seven and a half pounds, and then a Connect, which is a, a larger two-person tent, which is 15 pounds. So we've got some options. If you aren't looking for the largest tent, we do have smaller options that are a little bit lighter weight. So, so we'll show you again on the outside what we've got here. So you kind of got a little door here. So we've got the Stingray set up here with our newest Rainfly, the Rainforest screen, pegged out. So you can see that all these three people are covered with a little bit of rain protection and then the bug mesh. Also, if you guys want to set it just a little bit lower to get that full protection, we do have toggles on top to secure it and then toggles on the bottom. So if you have extra pegs, you can peg this bottom out to keep it from blowing around, to keep it a little bit tighter. Exactly. So David's question, the hammocks are attached to the straps, isn't the limit? Yeah, so you are, yeah, you're limited to the weight rating of the Stingray. So 880 pounds it holds. So yeah, you still have to stay within the range of, um, of 880 pounds. That's, that's the ratchet strength. So yeah, you do have to stay within that. But you do have, I mean, you've got quite, you've got room and you can... I mean, if you've got gear, you can store it down below. So if you need to get some weight out of the tent, you can actually just put your gear down here, get the gear out of the tent, save some weight so that all three people up top and three people below can sleep. That, I mean, that's pretty reasonable. Thanks for the question. Hello, Barbara. Who else we got? How do you get down? Do you from the from the stingray? So you've got a door here, so you can open that door and just jump down. We do sell a ladder accessory, which we showed in the last video. We also have this hatch, um, so we can climb up. We can climb up into the hatch from here um, and get down. So that's. So you saw just how Cove gets in. So it's pretty simple. It's not. You can attach a ladder as well. Um, like I said, there's also a door, so if you need to use the door. You can do as well. So there's two entries into the stingray. What else? Do the sides of pumpkin? Yeah, so the. Oh, let's go look. So this rain fly is waterproof. So that. So this will repel the rain. Um, it's got coating. And then it, it strung out. We've got it pegged out away from the mesh. So these people have some protection. Of course, these people have more protection, but. If you got that, we also sell walls, which should be on the uh, website shortly. We're just out of stock for the meantime, but you can actually attach those as well and then cover um, each side for privacy reasons and then as well as um, more rain protection for those people down below. So those are the walls and they should be back on the website shortly. Good question. So um, once again, you guys can use a code HURRY10 to get 10% off of anything you want to purchase in our store. Not including combos, but everything else. So you can purchase the Stingray, the Double Bubble, accessories, anything you guys are missing from your quiver. You can purchase that for the code will be valid for 72 hours. So 
Yeah. What's the highest trees to sleep in with this tent? So, what do you mean what's our height recommendation? We <laughs> say we recommend hanging it up no higher than four feet. Um, if you're going any higher, that's at your own risk, but you're welcome to do so. Um, just know what you're doing if you're hanging it higher. We've got ours at like five feet, so nothing crazy. Just giving us ourselves a, enough gap here where the this person, once this person gets in the hammock, they don't sag too far. And then just to reiterate, what we want to look for while you're hanging the tent is a live tree, 15 inches in diameter and healthy. Yeah, exactly. We do care about the trees and we obviously want to protect them. So we want to make sure that they are 15 inches in diameter at least and healthy. So, yeah. Perfect. So if anybody else has any questions, once again, this is how you sleep six additional people outside of your stingray. Um, or sorry, three people, total of six, three people additionally. So we've got um, the double bubble, retails for 150 just kind of loose hanging mesh, but it gives these people protection. So you've got one person here, one person here, and you can add one more hammock on this side. So again, just all to the D-rings. You're hooking them up to the D-rings on there. So on the outside. Um, so yeah, these people can lay right underneath your tent with the protection. So if you were a hammock camper, regular hammock camper before, and now you've got gear you wanna hang outside your tent or pretty much anything. Awesome. Well, thanks for watching from Germany. Good to hear that you guys are watching. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can always message us or give us a call. We're happy to help walk you through anything. Um, once again, we have a 10% off code for everybody who watched today. So the code is HURRY10. You'll get that code is valid for 72 hours. So you need to get on it. And um, we'll see you next time, guys. Bye. Bye.